guys good morning it's saturday i think the ninth i'm not sure man, i never can't keep up with my days man anyway you got the gorilla here gorilla long care uh see what everybody's up to today hope everybody's doing good man women ladies girls <laughs> but anyway uh things are starting to wind down and uh which is i mean it's kind of good and it's kind of not because you know money's not going to be coming in uh on on the uh, on the rigs but it's okay i still got my full-time job and yeah but anyway uh came this morning to do a uh, mulch job and i was should have did a video well, I was going to show you guys what it what it looked like before, but man, I wanted to, I was trying to get a game plan going, see how long it's going to take me to get it done. So I was trying to get it done in a, in a certain amount of time, so I didn't have to spend the whole day here, which wasn't I knew it wasn't going to be the whole day because I kind of already had in my mind how I was going to attack it. But anyway, uh, I'm out here in this new subdivision called High Meadows. You got these uh, half acre to three quarter acre lots. Some are one acre lots. And I'm, I've already got my foot in the door. I've got several here. I got about six customers in this neighborhood already. Some are like down the street from each other and then the next street over and whatnot. But anyway, let me show you guys uh, my mulch job. So I came in here. Like I said, I got here about 8 30 this morning. I want to get here at 7, but it's still kind of dark. I didn't want to, you know, I know people still asleep or not. It ain't like I was going to be making a lot of damn noise. But anyway, uh, they went, they went with black mulch. I, 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 they asked me for advice on what kind of mulch they need to put. I told them to get some black cypress mulch. And, and that's what they did. I told them it makes everything stand out a lot better. It, everything will pop. All your greens and colors will pop better from the street. So what I did is from, I don't know if you guys can see, I, I took out all, I took out all the old mulch from here and I took all the weeds out and went over there, did all that right there. And then I came over here and I hit this area right here. And I went on ahead and put a little edge on. I did we I kind of edged it with my edger, my stick edger. Got a good little cut on it. Then I went through with a weed eater and I edged it with a weed eater. So it do you know get all the extra grass and weeds growing in there and whatnot. But anyway, yeah. I started about 8:30. It took me. Let's see here. I got done about 10 30, 8 30, 8 30, 9 30, 10 30. It took me about three hours at the most. Then the neighbor came over and was asking me what I was doing. He was looking at it. He kind of held me up 15, 20 minutes, which I don't care, man. He might need something done later down the line. But, but anyway, I did all that. From there to there, I gutted it out, pulled all the weeds out. There was a few, not many, but there was, there was you know, quite a few, but I got them. Did all this here. Uh, if you guys can see that, can you guys see that? Am I getting it? I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, from there to here. Uh, yeah, this here and all that right there. That's all they wanted done. But anyway, I didn't hope you can see it. I'm gonna come back again and give you another shot. I didn't have to haul anything off. Which was good because that had been extra money and I didn't want to have to go to the damn dump to dump the shit. But anyway, what I did is I had like about, it was about, it was about 10, about eight or nine wheelbarrows full. Uh, this is one of my properties that I do. You guys can look at it. I was just here the other day. And uh, this, is, this is the part where. I used the big skag 48 on this property 
what I did is I came out here and I dumped all the I dumped all the mulch and oh shit down in this little gully area right here. I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I had about eight loads, nine loads at the most, and that's where I dumped it at. And that only eventually I'm gonna level it out next time I come and mow. And uh Think still recording yeah but anyway this I, I also round up this area back here in the back kind of like where it starts to slope I round up all this stuff back here so I don't have to mow this down here and it'll kill the grass and uh, and I round up back there too it was real bad back there but I've got it cleaned up quite a bit but anyway yeah that's where I dumped it that saved me a ton of time and it saved them some money and yeah as like I said this is one of my one of my properties that I do and like I said they got sod here if you can tell where the sod is at and then over here it's just crap grass and weeds and everything in there and uh, I'm all that and I maintain this property real nice people live here uh, the way I did it is you figure in the mulch and all that but what I like to do is in the price well what I like to do is I like to just say hey look this is what, how much mulch you're going to need and then you reimburse me I'll buy the mulch you reimburse me they'll reimburse me and whatnot. okay and then then they pay me for the job and I get my money back and it goes right back into my account but anyway, yeah, here it is. Hopefully you guys can see this. Uh, like I said, really, really nice yard. I keep it up. And yeah. This is just a little deal here. Uh, yeah, man, this is my property. I just mowed it the other day. I like to do a video on it one of these days for me mowing of course they they always get a lot of trash because construction guys are out here and whatnot but anyway i'm going to wrap this video up tell me what you think about the mulch job gorilla mulching i don't like to do too much of mulching i'm kind of an old guy i'm going to mold back i'm going to i'm going to mold gorillas but uh yeah today's a very very light day today i want to get this mulch job out of the way and i'm basically gonna mow another yard in my neighbor in uh down the road from my from my neighborhood so uh yeah and i also make sure everything's locked down i always make sure everything's tight i always check these straps make sure they're tight with the uh watch collet I just kind of glance, walk around the trailer, and everything tight, man. Everything looks good. The guy gave me a blower. Actually, the guy next door gave me a blower, another handheld blower, Echo, and it's it right over there. He said he can't get it to run, so I'm gonna look at it this winter, tinker with it, and uh, yeah, hell yeah. You know, those things are about 200 bucks. So if I can get it running for a little or nothing, and yeah, it'd be a good little backup hand blower. Anyway, you got the gorilla. Gorilla's out. Y'all have a blessed day today. Uh, remember, comment. Tell me what you think about the little mulch job I did. I don't, like I said, I'm not a mulch man. I just, they asked me if I would do it, and I figured, well, it's slowing down. Why not do it? Make a little extra money on the side, so. But anyway, I'm going to go to my next yard. I might get a little foot, uh, footage on that one. I'm not sure. We'll see. Uh, wind's blowing pretty good today, and I don't want to blow my phone off the damn truck or whatever I'm doing. But anyway, y'all guys be blessed out there. Uh, like, dislike, comment, don't comment, whatever. It don't matter to me. I like that. This is just a little uh, hobby of mine I like to do. I'm not good at it, but hell. It's just a not non-edited video. What you see is what you get. But anyway, y'all be blessed out there. God bless you. Have a great day. And Gorilla's out.